Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Chucky episode five entitled Little Little Lies. And the official synopsis of episode five is Jake and Devin progress their relationship. Enemies and allies from Chucky's past show up. And before I give out my review, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what I should review next. When it comes with episode five, I felt like episode five was a pretty good episode. Chucky on a crazy rampage, but we have seen some of the old characters come into play now. So here is just my review on this episode. So the episode just starts off as a flashback in the 1980s where we see a young Charles Lee Ray in the club and he is noticing some couple just making out and everything. After the couple has an, like, like a small argument, Chucky decides to talk to the woman and it seems as if like he is talking to Tiffany. Then we get to present day, Caroline, she finally wakes up from her coma and once, he, she, and once she sees Chucky, she freaks the F out and long story short, Chucky gets thrown into the dumpster and for some reason Chucky is happy because of the place that he landed in the dumpster with all of the needles and blood and that type of stuff. It's just weird to say the least. And so the gang, Jake, Lexi, and Devin, they decide to go through the trash to try to see if they can possibly find Chucky and everything else. And unfortunately, they are out of luck as Chucky somehow, some way made his escape before anybody noticed. Then the next day, the school holds like a small memorial for Oliver, that one kid who got killed at the party by Chucky and everything. And the entire gang are trying to just figure out as in who is Chucky going to come after next and what is Chucky's next move because of all of the crazy things that has happened. Sometime later, Lexi and her family's relationship is starting to crumble a lot especially between her and her mothers as her mother is just always just berating her blaming her for many of the mistakes that she's done or just the mistakes that has been happening as of late and to some extent it is her fault but to some other extent it's really not her fault and everything that same night um Chucky he sees Caroline with her new Chucky doll who is named Tommy and we see that Chucky is somewhat depressed and everything as he is actually kind of sad. Sometime later, Caroline's father sees the disfigured Chucky and throws him away once again. Lexi texts the gang and in long story short, the three stomp out Chucky like a New York with Timberlands on, stomping him out, destroying his body, basically putting him on a t-shirt and everything. And the gang just celebrates thinking as if like they have officially killed Chucky. But as we have seen over the last 30 years, they did not kill Chucky. Like we already know what happens. Chucky will find his way to come back. Jake and Devin, they continue to celebrate. They talk a little bit more. And then long story short, they kiss and everything goes. We get another flashback scene with Chucky talking to this female that he was talking to in the beginning of the episode. And Charles, he talks to another unknown individual. And then long story short, this unknown individual and a girl that Charles was hanging out with, they make out. And it seems like Charles is just watching, having a good old time. And it seems as if like he is about to put this unknown lady on a t-shirt and everything. But this unknown lady actually wants it. She actually wants to see if he'll do it. And then long story short, Charles catches another body, but not the unknown lady. And this is where Charles Lee Ray and Tiffany officially meet as they kill the lady. They have a good time together and we go back to present time. And this is where we see for the first time since the movie, Tiffany and Nika, they are in a hotel room having a good time together after they have killed somebody else already and another guy is just all tied up and everything. Nika is still trapped 
by Chucky as Chucky technically still has possession of her body. But once she holds the knife and sees blood and everything, it seems as if like Nikki regains control of her body. And this is where we get like a flashback scene of Nika's story of how Chucky became in possession of her and what he did with the last two movies of the series and everything. But then long story short, Chucky regains control of her body and Nick and Nika, Chucky, you might say, prints out her own t-shirt with another victim. Sometime later, there is a school meeting discussing all of the crazy, horrible things that's been happening as of late with all these killings. Lexi decides to tell Junior about Chucky, but Junior does not believe it one bit. Long story short, after the detective talks, Detective Williams, Chucky, now in a new body, catches another t-shirt, this time to the school principal, and he does her so disgusting by rolling up the school curtains and her head being missing with thumbs up on the chair, just laughing and smiling, and the gang realizes that they did not get Chucky. That is how the episode basically ends. I felt like this was a pretty good episode. I would say some of the things that I enjoyed about this episode was that we finally got to see Tiffany and Nika, some of the older characters from the movies into the TV show. And with them now being a part of the show and with now Chucky having a new body, I just think that this is when things are about to get a lot, lot darker for everyone involved in everything because Chucky, he's unkillable. Like you can kill him so many times, but he'll still find a way to come back. And Nika still being trapped with Chucky and everything. It's going to be an interesting story. Um, I think it was kind of interesting to see how Chucky and Tiffany actually met and how sick and twisted they really are between the two of them as well. Um, some of my predictions that I have now is that I think Junior will eventually find out that Chucky is real and he's going to find out the hard way when it comes to it. And I still think Detective Williams is going to get killed somehow. And I also think that Lexi's mom, Michelle, is going to get killed. And I really do think that she has it coming. I really do think that she needs to be put on a t-shirt for the way that she's been acting and everything towards Lexi and that type of stuff. But honestly, it's been a good show so far. Don't got nothing much else to say. I would say thank you for watching. And until next time, everybody, goodbye.